Welcome to Comic Geddon TV, where all things geek culture collide. I am your guest host, Greg, and today we're going to review Harley Quinn Birds of Prey on Amazon Prime. And when we're done, we're going to give it a rating and leave a freaky comment. Don't be scared, I won't spoil a thing. Wait a second. Is that the Harley Quinn we're going to get in this movie? You know, one that looks like this? Or one that looks like this? Nope. We get one that looks like this. Now all jokes aside, Harley does change her costume quite a lot in this movie, about every 20 minutes or so. And some of them are really cool, and some of them are really bright. So the movie is called Birds of Prey, The Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Wow, what a mouthful. <laughs> and too much to put on a marquee in front of a movie theater. So they had to go with just one line and they chose Birds of Prey. Now I knew what they meant. Most superhero uh, comic book geeks knew exactly what was going on, but the average person did not know that this was a Harley Quinn superhero movie. Birds of Prey? That could mean anything. But nowadays, it definitely can mean anything. So guess what? Their opening couple weeks, ticket sales were not that great. And they did some polls and they figured out the people didn't know. Oh, Birds of Prey, that's a cool superhero movie with Harley Quinn? I had no idea. What do you do? You rush back and you have to remarket things. Change the name to Harley Quinn <laughs> and start putting the word out. Might be a little bit too late, but they did it. There was another problem. The movie got an R rating. Ooh, that's not good. All the kiddos can't go see it. I had to go watch it while they were in school to pre-screen it to find out why did it get this rating. And when I went, they had already changed the name to Harley Quinn and they were giving out free buckets of popcorn. Oh, I had to get that. I got the poster and I went in and I'm like, let's see what's happening here. Well, one of the things that I noticed was this guy right here and his boss, the Black Mask, they're some bad guys and they're pretty brutal. This movie does show some kind of gory things. I mean, peel somebody's face off while they're alive, kind of flap it around. Yeah, that might contribute to the R rating. The biggest contributing factor to that rating, I believe, was not this t-shirt. The overuse of the F-bomb. Now, you could do that in a superhero movie, like Deadpool, for instance. But in that movie, it was used in comedic senses. In this one, it seemed to just be thrown out here, there, and everywhere. So again, not a movie for a little kid. No, 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 no. Now this movie is not a dark, twisted, scary story or anything like that. It's quite fun. It's very upbeat and they try to make it really kind of pop out like a cartoon come to life. And they did. Right here, Harley Quinn is her happy, crazy self. What'd she do? Well, she took off her necklace and said, Goodbye, Joker. Hello, world. Don't ask why I have that. The police station scene is one of the coolest in the movie. Harley comes in and owns the place. She's got the gun. It's got glitter bombs, beanbag explosion things. Hey, 15 police officers, one Harley Quinn. Bop, bop, bop. Everything is going just fine. Flips and kicks and all that stuff. Yeah, oh, it's exciting. And then, then, I didn't like this. A flashback right in the middle of it all. Not just any flashback. Oh, a 15 to 20 minute flashback. To the point where you actually think you're watching a whole nother movie. It started over or something like that. Then later it comes back to it and more flips and kicks and you get a bat. A good night bat. Hits it right out of the park. But the flashback, it blew my groove. Then, throughout the movie, there was four or five more flashbacks. What's up with that? There were some, there were some little ones like, here's somebody, and remember them from this earlier part, and boom, here's somebody. I know it's sort of an origin story for a lot of people, but too many flashbacks, okay? And then more flipping and kicking, and home run hitting, glitter bomb shooting, and 
more of a hyena. That's right, she has a pet hyena in this movie, and it's cool! And there he is! His name is Bruce, and he's a show-stealing hyena. Every scene with him is a great scene. Oh, we need more Bruce! And less of this guy, the Black Mask. I wonder who he reminds me of. Hmm, I just wonder. Oh yeah, the Jared Leto Joker. The similarities, whew, there are a lot of them. First of all, the way he speaks and walks and talks. And then the fact that he happens to just be a gang leader that likes to play with knives and also is a psycho and has a fascination with Harley Quinn. Been there, done that. I thought she was emancipated. Hey, what's up with that? The Huntress and the Black Canary are both keepers in the DC Universe. I need to see more of them in movies. I need to see more of the whole crew. Birds of Prey Part 2? Hey, I'm good with it. Don't listen to the naysayers. All that stuff you heard on the internet about it, it's not that bad. This is a fun movie, an action movie with lots of explosion, lots of cool scenes. Harley's in it all the time. She's got the good night bat. She's got the mallet over the head. She's got it all. She's got the hyena. Come on, the roller derby skates and just wop, bop, and all the good stuff. So don't be scared to give it a shot. Let me go ahead and think about this. I'm gonna have to rate it. Hmm. Let's take a quick look at Amazon, see what others have to say. Look at that, 1313. 1,313 people have went on Amazon Prime and left their name and rating on this movie. And they gave it an average of three and a half stars. Now I've been thinking about this for a while. Hmm. I'm not sure it's worth a four and I would hate to knock it down to a three. And they won't let me give it a half a star rating. That's just an average. So I'm going to leave it alone. Three and a half is fine with me. But I am going to go on here and leave a comment. And it's going to be a freaky one. So find me. My name is Greg. I will leave a Comageddon in the comment. And that's exactly where you are right now. Comageddon TV, where all things geek culture collide. I was your guest host, and I will do another one. Just let me know down below what movie I should check out next for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to find your treasure hunt. It's right there on Amazon Prime. I will see you in the future. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.